Okay. Another shrine down. We have these two next, I guess. Nine more to go. Yeah, you had a song that I didn't understand. Good to see you again. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Yeah, let's hear it again. Excellent. Without further ado. As the light shines from the northwest skies, from the tower's shadow, an arrow flies. Here's heaven's light to reveal the prize. I still don't quite understand the lyrics, but knowing my teacher, they're the key to revealing a secret. Best of luck, and may light illuminate your path. Well, I see... A mound down there. So... This one. As light shines from the northwest skies, from the tower's shadow an arrow flies, pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. So either I have to be standing where the tower's shadow is, or that was just a way of telling me where this mound would be and I'm supposed to stand on it, and then pierce the heavens. Logic says it's this one. It might be that one, but since this was viewable from there. So when the sun... Let me read it again. When light shines from a northwest sky. So yeah, when the sun is in the northwest. So... That way. That should reveal something. Meanwhile, I'm going to Google it just to speed up the process a bit. Yeah, I would have never gotten that one. So it says at about 3 p.m. Uh, about 3 p.m. this will light up. And then we shoot our bow at the sun. You will know within time... But it's the right time to shoot because the platform will make a sound and the sun will become less bright. Once you do this, the shrine appears nearby. It says you can also do it with the moon. Uh, let's use a normal arrow. So, oh. Oh. Okay, good. I didn't have to wait until 3 p.m. Yeah, I would have never figured that one out.
Because aim at the heavens does not mean aim specifically at the sun or moon. To me, at least. I probably would have just tried shooting directly straight up. And it wouldn't have worked. But that's fine. Why, that's why I've got Google off to the side. I will generally try and figure it out on it, my own, but if I don't have a clue, then I'll look it up because we're still trying to get through all the shrines. Okay, we've got a trial here. Combat trial, even. Do you use that foot in this shrine? I'm Sasakai. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this combat trial. Modest. Alright, well, I'll change out my equipment. And weapon-wise, let's grab that. And I guess shield-wise, I can use this because it's also useful in these trials. We got this going on. Oh, I've flown past his eye. It's awkward. <laughs> All right. My sword is badly damaged. Ooh. There's my last ancient core that I need. So let's drop this sword. This sword. Drop it and pick up that sword. I believe I have everything now to upgrade this armor fully, so we might take a side trip to take care of that. Crossblade. Meh. Your triumph over this test of strength subverts a prophecy of ruin. From the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. May the goddess smile upon you. All right, let's kill that stamp, and then I guess we'll go here for the ferry. Oh, it is apparently too cold. That's awkward. Hello there. <laughs> Baban! <laughs> water. I inhaled a lot of water. Then why are you hanging out under the water? Huh? You came to have me your clothing enhanced, right? Mm -hmm. With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing to the max. Enhance away. Let's go with the hat, using my five ancient cores. Oh. You want me to enhance the ancient helm, right? Yes. Understood. Now close your eyes. 
That absolute look of fear on Link's face. Another one down. What about the others? Yes. Let's take the chest piece up. Uh, yeah, I should have enough for the helmet as well. Yes, please. Understood. Now close your eyes. Okay. <laughs> All done? Yep. Looks enhanced to me. What about the others? Yes. The helm too. Aww. Got it. You want me to enhance the ancient helm then? Yes, please. Understood. Now close your eyes. Ancient Helm is now also maximum. <laughs> All done. Perfect. Sometimes I'm so good it's scary. I wanted to make some of your other clothes stronger, but that just doesn't seem possible. When you're carrying the clothes and materials with you, please come back and visit me here. Well then, I'm headed home. Oh. Take care. Okay. Our ancient set is now fully maxed out. Which is awesome. Now let's go back to this tower. Oh, when your hearts are full, you can fire a beam from the sword with R. The more containers you... something. I don't believe I've ever tried that with the Master Sword. Was not aware that was a thing. Alright, I no longer need the cold protection, so we'll just put that on. And we're now looking at this shrine. I'm not hearing a shrine, so this must be another puzzle. Ow. Oh, goodbye, flame blade. I guess I shouldn't waste all of my flame blades. Maybe I should use this. Because having a flame blade is useful when I need a torch. Okay, I had it marked that the shrine was roughly here. And there is nothing obviously shrine-like here. Ah, I stand corrected. You are obviously shrine-like. And you just turned on now, which means now is an important time. If you seek power untold, offer a shining blue stone. Uh... Okay. I probably actually had... I mean, I did have luminous stone. Well, that one was really easy. So I was seeing those little markers there, and I was thinking that it would have something to do with that. <laughs> Luckily I was wrong. <laughs> ah, sorry. I don't know I've been so sneezy lately.
cool. We've got another trial of some sort. To use that's put in this shrine, I'm showed done too in the name of this god. It's Hylia, I offer this trial. Two bombs. Okay. We've got doors around that I can't open. Wow, that did not do much. There we go. Okay. That will launch stuff up. Hidden chest. Good. Glad I checked. More rupees. Am I supposed to be launching myself? No. Maybe? There we go. Alright, that door is still closed. Okay. So, I will want to have a bomb back here, probably. And then put another... Wrong button. Okay. Let's try and do this correctly this time. So... Drop you here. And we detonate this one. I'm assuming it's the same. So we detonate you, and then I immediately switch over here. Ah. Didn't quite pull it off. Put a bomb here. Put another bomb here. Almost certain this is what we're going for, though. There it is. Okay. That'll throw a bomb. That will also throw a bomb. Oppositely timed. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> no, Link. Come on. There. Oh. All right, is this a timing exercise? Yes, it is. Ah. No. Okay, so that lowers those. I get onto the platform. There we are. Um, hang on. Um, what? <laughs> How? 
How do I open the doors? I thought that was it. What am I missing now? Trying to see... Oh, that was super wrong. Is the door open? Yes. Huh. So I'll need to be up there and then manage to detonate another bomb. Problem is, I think these are going to sync up. Maybe. So if I put you there. Yeah. Yeah, then they are together, which isn't going to work. Because when I detonate one, it'll detonate both. Where are the bombs? Hello? <laughs> Quite sure I put two bombs. Oh, are they up there? Somehow? Huh. Weird. They're in there now. I don't know how that happened, but okay. Nope. Huh. One of them... Let's see, the square one... Is in there now. So we detonate the square one. I get it. Not sure why the square one. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, that's a problem. Square one did not get caught. Again, not sure what's going on. Why this works, but seems to. Okay, is square one up there now? I think it is. So we detonate the square one. That gets us up here. And then we time the round one. open this. Alright, that took a lot more thought than I would have liked. But we made it, and that's what matters. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. May the goddess smile upon you. I do kind of treat the bombs as one and the same, and rarely have both of them out at the same time. So that's a good reminder. All right. Now we're down here. Speaking of bombs, so I looked into how to deal with the Mulduga, because I knew these shrines require it. And bombs, that's the secret.
So we got to get ourselves to the Mulduga. And then use bombs to kill it. I guess it's more that the bombs stun it. Uh, it is too hot. So let's switch out my armor. And again, I could switch on fireproof. But fireproof doesn't protect me from heat. Except if I'm on fire, then it does protect me from the heat. Which makes no sense to me. Um... So the only heatproof stuff I have is to go full Vi armor. Which is fine, I guess. Alright. Now we head out here and try and find us a Mulduga. And then see how well what I saw online translates. It's even hotter. No. Go away, you. Yeah, I'm just going to take a little bits of damage. It's fine, probably. Would be nice to fight later in the day where I'm not having heat troubles. We'll see how that all shakes out. The heat at least doesn't do too much damage too quickly. Ooh, a chest. Not a real chest. That's Noctorok. Because it's not magnetic. Oh, come on. I even knew. That's fine. Alright. Hoping there was some sort of oasis up here. Oh, there is. There we go. So I can wait here till later in the day when the temperature is hopefully friendlier. Or not. It's fine. I think is its weak spot. Let's go find our heaviest hitting weapon. Which is you. Actually, it might be these. No, it's only those if I put on my armor. This is probably fine. There we go. You are now out of my way. Mulduga Finn. Mulduga Guts. Oh, 
Well, broadsword, don't care. Um. Yep. Moonlight scimitar, also don't care. There. Finally dealt with the Mulduga. Now, the shrine was supposed to be around here somewheres. And I'm noticing lack of a shrine. So what am I missing? I don't know. What am I missing? <laughs> this is number nine. Not clear. Saying something about a quest called the perfect drink. Do I have a quest called The Perfect Drink? No. Oh, I already did this one. There's a bunch of these that I need to turn in, clearly. Talk to Pokey who blocks your shrine. Okay, let's zoom in here. Okay, I was off. That's fine. Weather's nicer, so let's switch out our armor. Sort it again. There we go. Actually, I should probably use the last... ...of those, so it starts recharging. <laughs> He's like, you did electrical damage to me? That's my thing. Ow. Get over here. Oh, I'm still using my really good sword. I want to hold on to that one a bit. Rather than wasting that durability. There we go. Yeah, so we've got one more Mulduga to fight for the other shrine. Uh... What is question, Drenowak? I was just googling the shrine information. So, no big deal. Uh, yeah, but we've got another Maluga we're going to need to fight, so I need to recharge my uh, ability. So, 
wasting it there. That was the point. Oh, now we're too cold. That's exciting. Alright. We have found our shrine, but we're still going to have to do the quest. To be allowed in. Assuming what I read online is correct. climbing over. Might be faster. Is it up? Might be up. Ah, definitely should not have walked around. Alright. I'm done for. Can I... Can I use? Uh, I just found the shrine too. Ugh, my throat. It's so dry. I can't move a muscle. Is th if this really is the end, I wish I could have one last taste. One sip. One sip of an ice cold noble pursuit. Alright, so what's the deal with this? A Grotto named Pokey has collapsed in front of the ancient shrine. You'll have to find a way to revive her if you want to get inside. She was barely coherent, but it sounded like she was muttering about wanting to drink something called Noble Pursuit. Uh. I just found the shrine too. Oh, my throat, it's so dry. Can't move a muscle. Okay, she's just repeating herself. And you're seriously not going to let me activate the shrine? Can I teleport here? Does it count as good enough? No. So I won't be able to teleport back here. I'm going to have to wander back here on my own. That is fantastic. Okay. Noble Pursuit. Back to Grudo Town. Which I can do. 